Welcome back guys. So I got some pretty exciting news for you. One may not seem that exciting because but it make it just might not, but it makes me excited because we are putting the plow on the tractor so we can plow a field. And usually when we start working some fields, then uh, it usually means it's going to start warming up because it's springtime. And the second one is, it is now dry enough that I don't have to wear my mucks. That's the other exciting thing. It's pretty dang exciting, huh? So I'm going to get the tours done with this orange tractor. And then we will take, we'll get this green, green tractor started. Take this blade off, put it on this tractor. We'll go get the plow. It's just down the road a little ways, just, just on the farm. We'll hook the plow up on this John, on this Kubota. And then we have a post hole digger we put on the front of this Kubota, which is actually pretty cool. So you have to stick around and see how that works. So. With that, I'll get the tractor started. So, I got the cows fed. I got my guy Jaden and my cousin Ali. <laughs> and so we'll start the green tractor now so it can warm up a little bit before we put the blade on it. Also, we have a super athletic cow it is turning out to be. So we, she keeps jumping out of the wire fence over here. You can't see it because there's a horse trailer in the way. But there's a wire fence that runs clear down in front of the house. And so we put, and she jumps over it. So we put her in here with the horses. And this is five and a half feet tall. This rail, that top rail is. She jumps over it. It's crazy. I'm gonna show you something about these tractors. So all the newer tractors have these little pins in these, this three point. And the reason for that is because if you take out the pin, it'll just, it'll bang into this side here. And on the orange tractor, if you don't put the pin in, it'll come clear out and run into the tire. So when you're done, you always wanna put the pins back in. Okay, so we got it hooked up, easy as pie. Okay, so we got it all hooked up and we're blading now. I'm just doing this because the driveway got a lot of ruts in it after all the mud, so. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's two great big birds right about there. Now we're gonna go hook up the plow and the post hole digger. More, more. Go up. Thank you. 
So my dad's gonna meet me over there with the braces that I welded up. And we got this post hole digger all tidied on. <laughs> so we'll go plant these. I guess we'll get Mongo plant them. We'll just dig the holes and then I imagine we'll take this off and go hooked up to the plow. Okay, so we got them dug. Four of them and now my dad's coming back with shovels so we can finish digging them out. So we got them set in. There's one. And the other one's right up here. So now we just gotta go to the store and get cement. And then we'll be good. We can put them in. Right now we're just taking the post hole digger back off because we didn't need it for much. So, we're taking it off and hooking up to the plow. So when you're done, you always want to put the pins back in. So when you're done, you always want to put the pins back in. We did that because we don't have enough pins. Huh? But don't try that Junior. at home. On this farm, we generally show people what not to do. We got it fixed. Well guys, that's gonna round out this video. So thanks for watching. Um, I had 100 subscribers, so that was my first goal. And we hit it, thanks to you guys, so Thanks for watching, but before you go, it's a pretty sunset. Look at that. I don't think camera's doing the justice, but...